guys welcome back to my channel it's ashley janae here so today if you are watching this video you have made it to glam number four What's up with her and interrupting my intros? But you need to stop it. Tell the camera. Tell them. Any further ado, you guys, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. Like this video. Give me a couple thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications because we have one more look left to go. And then the series is finally over. It's finally coming to an end, you guys. I know, I know. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, um, just make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment. So let's get into this tutorial, you guys. So I'm gonna start off using my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna go in with that Frisco color. And on top of that, I'm also gonna go in with that Raw Sienna and burnt orange just to lighten it up a little bit going in with my morphe 35c palette i'm going to be using those two brown shades then on top of that i'm going over it with my with that yellow shade from the same palette the browns was just a little bit too dull for me and this yellow just made everything stand out a little bit more. Same palette, same brush, different color. Going in with this orange shade and I'm just going to put that on top of that yellow just to brighten it up a little bit. This clip right here. I've tried to do what I see most YouTubers do and just show the palette instead of my face. But I don't know, I guess they crop, crop the face out and just show the palette. But that's what I was trying to do. But instead, I look crazy as hell. But I'm just adding that um, burgundy shade and adding into my crease just to darken it up. Then I'm going in with my Kat Von D palette. I don't know the name of this palette because the words are... Um, faded away since I've had this palette for so long but I'm going in with that red shade and just blending everything out in my crease and then on top of that I also will be going in with that same palette and then I'm going to be using that black shimmer shade just to go on top of it to darken everything up it's time to cut this crease honey so we are using soft ochre paint pot by mac and as you can see we are going full wing and this is the time when it gets really serious i need all moment of silence everyone because cutting the crease you cannot mess up on this part you cannot just either do or die back in with that yellow shade that I use for my crease I'm just going to pack that onto my lid and also on top of that yellow I'm going to be going over it with my liquid eyeshadow by Stella and I'm using there was something missing with the eyes because it just 
wasn't giving me that wow effect like how I wanted it to be so I went in with my gel liner by Inglot in number 84 and just applied that on my outer crease and using the orange that I use in my crease for my water adding some diamonds that I got from my local craft store and I don't know what made me come up with the, this design on my face you know just going with the flow trying to think of something creative and different and this is what I came up with and I'm just applying this Fenty highlight all over my neck y'all this Fenty highlight can just be so uh, you can use this in so many different ways in the corners you can use that as a loose eyeshadow but I love right now I just applied some glitter and I've had this glitter for so long I don't recall where I had got it from um, so right now I'm just applying some flowers if you have a choker, you guys can use a choker, but I didn't have a choker, so I kind of just made my own. And now I'm just drawing a little triangular shape as an outline for my glitter, my loose pigments that I'm about to use that I also got from my local craft store. During this look, I didn't know what I was doing, how I was going to do it, what the vision was. Um, I kind of just start thinking of stuff as I was, as I go. But it turned out fantastic, and I kind of notice when I don't plan a look for my makeup, it always turns out better than expected. But I'm just applying a ColourPop lippy and I'll list it in the description box below. Going on top with my Fenty, you can either apply this or just add a cute lip liner and some gloss. But thank you guys for tuning in and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.